Benson. I'm from foodiephilosophy.com. We're out in the community meeting some of our neighbors and figured what better way to start it than to come to my favorite restaurant in Boulder, which is the kitchen. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that I love about the kitchen is the simplicity. And there's a few items that come to mind um, specifically that I think embody the simplicity. Um, one is the Bloody Marys, which I absolutely love, and the other one is the French fries. So tell me, how do you go about taking products that, or food items that are so established, they're so simple, and making them special? Well, what we do is we really look to our suppliers first. And uh, the, the kitchen is a farm-to-table restaurant, which means we work with local farms to find the right produce for, for our community. And that includes potatoes. What's interesting about our fries is when our, when our suppliers change the way they grow the potatoes because they are farmers and they, they change by the season, um, we have to adjust the recipe. And uh, it what's keeps, it's what keeps the kitchen interesting. Um, we love it because what it means we really are connected to the earth. We really know what we're eating is different and comes from a local farm. And I think that's one of the reasons why people love our fries. Yeah, totally. And something that comes out in the fries and in the Bloody Marys is the attention to detail. Um, you know, sometimes I notice that there's little bits of chopped parsley in the fries, and nice chunks of um, and nice chunks of sea salt. And on, on Bloody Mary, the uh, the cucumber slice on the rim of the glass with the herbs. And, I mean, that is just like spectacular. And it's, it's that attention to detail that I think makes something simple perfect. Um, or make something simple better, right. and, and it also kind of yeah, reflects on your attention style. Right. Uh, speaking of the suppliers, you, you alluded to the suppliers on the, on the potatoes. Um, I always kind of joke about the kitchen. I grew up in Los Angeles, and when I go back there, my friends are always seeing stars. We're always seeing stars at the restaurant. It's like, oh, look at that star, look at that star. When, it, when you're at the kitchen, it's like, look at that farmer, look at that farmer. And I feel like, you know, that's kind of an embodiment of Boulder and a reflection of Boulder in that, um, you know, we treat farmers like movie stars in Boulder. Yeah. And you certainly treat them that way. And I just wanted to kind of open that up and, and talk a little bit about your philosophy on sourcing and uh, working with these suppliers. We work with farms so closely that they will actually set aside parts of their land for us and will grow things that they know we will look into. You know, we have these long-standing relationships. And we have some farms where we buy every single thing off that farm. So for us, the relationship with the farmers is, is a fundamental part of why we're actually here. Um, tell me a little bit about the community table and the involvement of Grow, the Grow Foundation. Sure, it's great. So every Monday night at the kitchen, we have a, what's called community night, where the community table is set aside for a family-style meal. It's, we price it very reasonably, $35 for about a 9 or 10 course meal. The idea is that you can come as, a, as an individual, you come with a group, but you, you share your meal experience with other people around you. But part of what we do is we take 20% of that revenue and we give it to the Grow Foundation, which puts gardens in local schools. And that to us is no, no better force to support, which is to help the next generation of our kids understand vegetables better, uh, learn and experience their life in the garden in ways that most of us grew up with, but the younger generation don't experience it all. Well, um, it's, we're on the verge of spring here. We've got spring coming in three weeks. What, I'm, exciting. I'm sure um, being on the cusp of spring at the kitchen is an exciting time, and everybody's excited to go out to the farms and work with the farmers and start getting some of the produce back in the kitchen. Huh? Best time of year. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for having us. It's great to see you. Well,